Looking forward to spending a little time with you this morning, sharing some good coffee and good word. I've got my um, Southern Roots this morning. This is their um, Guatemalan, which they call uh, Casa. Uh, it's a member of the, the orphanage down there in Guatemala, Casa Hallelujah, with um, Mike and Dottie Clark. It's good stuff. Huh. Get a chance to order you some of that Southern Roots. It's Pastor Bubba Warren and Sister Stephanie over there. Good people and good coffee. Yeah, you know what? He's known to deliver the good word as well. I'm glad to have them counted as good friends. You know, we're, um, we're getting a series on the, the Holy Spirit, which is pretty common at this time of year, actually, in churches, because we're in that space between um, Resurrection Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, and when the infilling of the Holy Spirit, which we read about in Acts 2, so we're working our way up toward this, that point. And looking specifically at the, um, the Holy Spirit, we're doing our Wednesday night classes on that, and our Sunday morning sermons are geared that way as well, because a lot of times I think we, we've kind of relegated the Holy Spirit down to the lower shelf, as I mentioned Sunday. It, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't say on the tip of our tongue like it does as God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son. And way over here we have the Holy Spirit. And I, I, they are all co-equal in the, the Trinity that we talk about. So I think it's important for us to be reminded. I, I really want to know in the comments down there. Uh, of course, I always want to know what coffee you're drinking. But I really want to know what your thoughts are on the, on the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit mean to you and in your life and uh, the scripture i was brought to this morning was in romans chapter 15 verse 13 the apostle paul says this it's almost like a benediction he says may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing and i love this part so that by the power of the holy spirit you may abound in hope people one of these days where's the hope what there are so many negative things going on it's just where do we find uh, the hope, that hope that's in Christ Jesus, where do we find that? How do we abound in hope, uh, as they, to use the term there? And Paul said it's in the Holy Spirit. He said, by the Holy Spirit. He said, in the power of the Holy Spirit, specifically, that's how you're going to abound in hope. You can't do it on your own. There's just so many things in the world that bring us down and weight us down. That, that we're, we're fighting on so many different fronts, it seems. But Paul says it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's how we abound in hope. So how are you fully putting into to use and into your daily life the power of the Holy Spirit? I mean, there are many of us that, you know, we have been filled with the Spirit, and we have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, and we are refilled and refreshed in the Holy Spirit. But how are we putting that into our day-to-day -day lives? How are we pulling upon that power that the Spirit gave us? You know, there's so many things that it says that the power and the Holy Spirit brings us. The Holy Spirit has given it to us as a gift. He is our comforter. Um, he is our ever-present hope. He, he's right there. He is, he is like I said, he, in that literal indwelling, in he is given to us as an um, one of the greatest gifts that I saw the Holy Spirit, if you begin to read, says that he will recall to your memory those things that you have seen and heard. And he gives us that just the right word in just the right season. Where do you see, though, in your day-to-day -day life, the, the power of the, of the Holy Spirit? Are you acting upon the Holy Spirit? Have you received the Holy Spirit? Now, that's what Paul asked them, you know, the new believers. They said, he said, if you received the Holy Spirit, they said, we haven't even heard of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> And I'm afraid that in a lot of churches it's not exactly preached or stressed, but I want to do that in these coming weeks, that we will stress the power of the Holy Spirit and the importance of the infilling of the Holy Spirit. But I want to know in your comments, what do you, how do you see the Holy Spirit used in your life and our day-to-day? -day? Let me pray for you this morning. Father God, I pray specifically the, the Word of God this morning. I pray the Word of God unto those all listening. And I pray the very prayer of Paul, that may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Look, that's my prayer for you today, that you would abound in joy. There's enough things in the world bringing you down. If you can find a source of hope and a source of joy, then by all means move into it. And we're promised that the Holy Spirit is where we find that we can abound in joy by His power. Look, y'all have a great day. You know God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. Get out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. And I'll find you 
tomorrow.